recent versions of Finale have made it easier and more functional than ever to use Finale for playback. There's the uh, Garretton Personal Orchestra instruments, uh, the soft synth uh, the, that comes with uh, Finale that uh, makes the sounds more attractive, and uh, a number of other features, uh, some of which I'd like to show you right now. Um, one of the best and least known is that you can tap the tempo on the space bar to record the tempi that you want in the song, which makes the playback more like what it would have been if you'd conduct it. Uh, some people find that Finale's playback is a little stiff and sterile because they're not aware of this feature. I'd like to show it to you now. Let's play the beginning of this choral piece I wrote called What Child Is This? Okay, now I did indicate a poke over tard, poke over tardando in there, and um, it's not really playing back um, at all, uh, even though I do have the um, human playback, which uh, some um, of the uh, instructions, some of the expressions, the text expressions, actually have corresponding uh, performance um, uh, features, but apparently Poco Retardando is not one of them because it didn't slow down at all. So what I'm going to do is go to the View menu and say uh, View it in Studio View. If you've never looked at this, it's the view that makes Finale look like a multi-track recording device. Um, the track that's of interest to us, though, is this top one, the tempo track. And if you hit Record, you're telling Finale that you would like to record um, basically what will be a hyperscribe session where you tap the space bar at the um, interval that's shown in, in blue. Here it's quarter notes. Now if you wanted to make those eighth notes, you would just use the simple tool or the hyperscribe tool or any tool, and you would enter um, the, uh, the eighth notes there instead of quarter notes, and then you could tap the space bar at, at the eighth note resolution. But I'm going to just use quarter notes. And so I'm going to um, hit record over here, and I get a green uh, playback cursor, and it's basically waiting for me to begin tapping my space bar. And once I do, I'll be conducting the piece in real time. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Now here I'll slow down. One, two, three, four. Now back to regular speed. And I stop. It asked me, what's the last speed you want? Did you want it to be 87? Um, I, 87 is pretty close to what I wanted, which was 88. I'm just going to go ahead and type in 88 and say OK. And now let's go back and hear what that sounds like with that tempo change I just typed in. And I can record these all over the place in this song, and each one of those uh, tempo adjustments will be saved so that the playback of this uh, file is much more like uh, what it would be in a performance.